to his OJ, everyone's favorite Nigerian. This that real life shit, nigga. All right. Come on in. Let's get into these real or weirds. Why you being weird to me? Who being weird? <laughs> That's disrespectful. We That's we gonna we gonna see if people are being weird or not. We gonna see. So first thing, a couple days ago, a week ago now, Kendrick gets announced. He's performing at the Super Bowl. Third time performing, first time being a headliner, first hip hop rapper to be a full time headliner. Because Dr. Dre is more of a producer. So Kendrick gets a nod. I didn't think nothing of it, but the internet started going crazy because the Super Bowl is in New Orleans this year. They thought it was they thought it should be Lil Wayne. Is he from New Orleans or something? He is from New Orleans. Okay, mm-hmm. right. My fault. I didn't mean to look at you like that. <laughs> See, that's how you do me. I apologize. He's from New Orleans. Got New Orleans. <laughs> do y'all think it's real or weird that Kendra got chose over Lil Wayne to perform at the Super Bowl? I think it's real. Why do you think it's real? I think it's real. I think it's real because I think it's it's Hollywood, it's the industry, it's business, it's money. Kendrick dropped a hot this song. Mm-hmm. It makes sense that for the Super Bowl, you would put Kendrick as a headliner. Like, why not? Like, he's hot right now. Everybody listen to his song. And he. it's not like he has a bad catalog. Like, put Kendrick on the map. Okay, cool. I think just because it's in New Orleans doesn't mean it has to be somebody from the hometown that, I mean, has been in New Orleans Several times. Several times. So it's just not Lil Wayne's time right now. I think First time since Jay-Z took over the selection process, though. Right. So I think it's definitely real. I think it's just business and it's money and it's nothing personal. Imani? I agree with you wholeheartedly. Um, yeah, I think that's just the name of the game. I think Kendrick is hot right now. And I don't, I don't know. Like, maybe people know something about what Lil Wayne has been doing. But I don't know anything about Lil Wayne. I haven't heard about him in forever. I didn't even know he was from New Orleans. But <laughs> but when you said that, I did think, oh, okay, I guess that might be a reason to feel like, oh, maybe he should be the headliner. But yeah, Kendrick Lamar, he the diss track, like we've been singing his music all summer. Like everyone loves him. He's probably going to sing that song there. And then all the Americans are going to feel like, and we just had like, what is it? The Olympics. So all the Americans are going to be like, oh yeah, no one's like us. And then really it's like the LA people who are like, it's the rest of y'all that's not like us. But you know, it's just like everybody can sing that song. It's Olympics just, are coming to LA in a couple of years. Yeah. Yeah. And hopefully the subways will be done. You think they'll be done? I know that's We're going to have subways? That's what they're building. In LA? Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't the know. Trains. About, oh, I don't Lord. know about subways. I know they're trying to work on some high speed trains to Vegas that will be done by 2028. I didn't hear anything about subways. I don't know if we have the what? infrastructure for subways. They're building them already. Really? Uh, yeah. That's, that's news Underground. to me. Underground is crazy. Underground, yeah. yeah. That's news to me. But, but I believe you, though. They're saying you, they're supposed to be ready by the time the Olympics, but I'm like, there's no way they're going to finish all that in four years. They should. like. But I, I'm seeing a lot of projects pop up on the freeways. They're trying to beautify California by 2027. Like I'm seeing the signs. I live on the west side of LA, so like the public transportation is actually like not too bad over here, but LA in general, public transportation is like trash. Yeah. It's like ridiculously bad. It's so sure. bad. So hopefully they hopefully they do. But anyway, I think it's real as well. But because I I got to saw out Lil Wayne a little bit because you were talking a little crazy on Lil Wayne. I don't, like you I, don't even know he's from Louisiana. You yeah, know no, I know. I'm sorry. Lil Louisiana, My family's from like, Louisiana. Dang, that's crazy. Like <laughs> is that why they call him Lil Weezy? Because Louisiana? They call him Lil Weezy because it's <laughs> Lil Wayne. <laughs> That's what I thought, but you just oh said. Oh my god, that nope. makes so much sense. He's like, I love her. She just <laughs> that makes no. I was like, that actually Louisiana. Make, yeah, Louisiana. Wow. Okay, I, that's my All bad. Right. Okay, <laughs> that's my bad because that makes sense. That's not what. Right. All right. Anyway, he has the accolades for sure. He has the hits, and he's certified hip hop legend. The, for sure. the moment I saw Kendrick was announced, I was like, oh, he's probably gonna bring out Lil Wayne. He's gonna bring out Juvenile. Like. They're going to have like a little New Orleans, little, you know, because people always bring out exactly. like artists. Mm-hmm. But I guess like people were just focusing on him being a headliner. He's not super big right now, is he? I, 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 I wouldn't say he's not. Him. Kendrick? No. Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne. Oh. Kendrick's Isn't big he right like now. puffy right now? Like maybe he's not stage ready. And his hair. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm he sorry. hasn't been performing well like in the past, but I know this year he's taken like. An onus on himself to like perform better. To, okay, to, but, to know his lyrics and okay, all that but shit. To just give him the Super Bowl and he just trying to learn his own lyrics. Like no, Kendrick knows his lyrics. I agree with you. I I agree with you. 
But also, the Super Bowl. if it had gotten announced that it was Lil Wayne, I don't think anyone would have had an issue. No one would have been like, oh, it should have been Kendrick. Um, I right, think they right, would have. Right, right. I like, think they would have. Like, what? He don't even know his own lyrics. I, I think. I think they wouldn't have even thought like, oh, put Kendrick instead of Lil Wayne. I think yeah. because it's people already had like, oh, New Orleans. When you think of New Orleans, you might think of like Wayne. it. High key makes a lot of sense, but I do think Kendrick is a better choice. Like Kendrick's gonna put on the fucking the show. Better choice. I mean, like, his right now, if Kendrick were to perform in a Super Bowl, Super Bowl anywhere within the next three years, it wouldn't hit the same. That this song would not hit the same. Yeah. It's, it's fresh. Literally, they're singing in elementary schools. Like, put Facts. Kendrick on a mat. Facts. Put him up there. And you know the HBCUs are down in the South, so he's for yeah. sure going to bring out some horns, some band arrangements. Like, it's going to okay, go crazy. Okay, like, it makes sense right now. Right now, Lil Wayne, just give it till next year. At least, like, relax. See, that's the thing, though, because next year, I think, is in NorCal. And then the year after that, it's in L.A. So people were all like, oh, just switch it. But like you said... In two years, if he like plays not like us, it's gonna be like, why are you so? Yeah, like okay, this? that this song was three years ago. Like, yeah, no. that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. It's a great money move. Like, it's all business wise. That's what people just taking it too personal, and that's why the internet is just not my favorite place because everybody's too sensitive. It's yeah. like when there's money involved, you got to do what's gonna get the most views, what's gonna get the most money in. Everybody, that's, chill. It's true. <laughs> So this moves on to the next real or weird. Why you being weird to me? Y'all both Nikki fans. Absolute. So I, I kind of already know where this conversation is going to go. But <laughs> one of the major like voices for Lil Wayne should have been like the headliner over Kendrick Lamar was Nicki Minaj. And she had some choice words for Kendrick or not for Kendrick, but for Jay-Z, because Jay-Z technically is the person who chooses Um so I'm, I'm just going to read out her tweets. I know you didn't see any yeah, of it. I, I didn't see. Okay. Mm -mm. So Nikki says, of Jay-Z, got everything in the world. Still spiteful and evil. Disgusting. Be happy, I beg. Does Nikki got Nigerian? All right, never mind. She, she, she for sure do. All right, go be <laughs> She's Trinidadian. I was going to say, the Caribbean way. or something, right? The beg? All right. I don't know. <laughs> oh, damn, I lost it. Got everything in the world. Still spiteful and evil. Disgusting. Be happy, I beg. Go be fucking happy, nigga. In rap business and women business, when you got the politicians and the police, you good, though. Plus that ugly, laffy taffy alien. I don't know what that means. And then <laughs> and then she says, denying a young black man what he rightfully put into this game for no other reason but your ego, your hatred for Birdman, Drake, and Nikki got you punching Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne? The GOAT? Nola, what's good? Eminem stood firm on having 50 Cent come out. A white man. Shit sad. House nigger things. <gasps> but it's good for them. She did the hard R. My girl said that. Dang. Oh, wow. No loyalty. Well, them niggas <laughs> will keep sending you. LMFAO, good ass for the. It's the way you reading it too. You gonna be saying her voice? <laughs> Nola, what's good? Ah, uh, yeah. Look, look, you got this. One. No, no, no! I don't want to read. Because <laughs> I can't do Nikki's voice, so I will not. God forbid, if Wayne was to leave this earth right now, the culture would be in mourning. That's why so many people For keep sure. saying to give our legends their flowers while they are still around to smell them, sitting around all day playing games with people, life and legacy. God ain't sleep. Anybody could die tomorrow, Nikki. So, Nicki Minaj. Well, there is one more. All right. God will punish you. Mark my wood, words. The man that has not only pushed his pen the hardest, but gave the game more than one hip hop icon as well on his watch. Represent the rap game. The best rapper don't represent the rap game well enough for you. Black people. Wow. If this don't hurt you, your heart to read. It will one day. Look at how our legends keep being treated after they've given us, given so much to us. Who are you? You God? Is that how she said it? You yeah. got? You got? You got? Judgmental swine. <laughs> delete. 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 LOL, you will regret. It's so hard to read this tweet. I'm not going to lie. LOL, you will regret tweeting this. Life is funny that way. Don't you dare turn your nose up at Lil Wayne, you dick munching bozo. <laughs> I didn't know that he didn't like them. She's hilarious. And then she also said, one nigga took a knee. 
the other nigga took the bag. He gonna get you niggers in line every fucking time. She said the hard R again. Yep. Nikki. These sound like this is crazy. This is her PR. It, it's a little bit of her. No, it's nah, definitely nah, nah. her, but it's a little she, bit of like. She has, she has, no, she did not have a PR agent come in and type oh, those hard tweets R, in. Hard R. Hard R is crazy, Nick. Real or weird? Did Nicki Minaj I go think, too far in her statements over it? Do you I think, think her statements were real or weird? I think it's Twitter. I think it's real. It's whatever. You say whatever you want on Twitter. Okay. I think that was a little weird, a little strange. Okay. Sorry. A little bit strange to me. But. I don't know the history of Nikki and Jay Z and the Wayne thing about Hove and Wayne, like the, they're cool. Like when Wayne was having his label disputes with Birdman, because Birdman stole money from Lil Wayne. First mm-hmm. off, Jay Z paid like the balance of whatever he owed, like tax wise and shit like that, to get him out of legal trouble. They For were Lil Wayne. Yeah, and they were just together at whatever uh, Rock Nation event was happening like two weeks ago. So it's like, I feel like Nikki was more mad that her opportunity to come out, because the little one's performing. She's going to be there. She's going to be there. Right. right? right I feel right. like she was more mad that her opportunity. That makes sense. Mm. And I think it it comes into play because Nikki, Nikki has just a lot of like BET Awards. She's banned from the BET Awards. Like mm. they don't fuck with her. In She's TV, banned? yeah, like they don't. BT will not put Nikki on the stage. Why? She talks about it all the time, just how like major companies just be trying to blackball her. So she just feels probably like if it's she's taking it personal because. Wayne put her on, and it's just like Wayne is not yeah. gonna be on the Super Bowl thing. So she just kind of feel like, dang, like you gonna blackball me, you gonna blackball him, and it's just like they put in so much work into the rap game it's just like why not honor them but it's all business when it come down to it I think she just being sensitive she probably on yeah. the period <laughs> no <laughs> oh, oh I can't alright Nikki can't do no wrong it's Twitter say what you wanna listen, say listen. forget it she not yeah, gonna change she probably nothing is everybody acting hurt. like that's just gonna change JG's it, mind it's I'm, not I'm, it I'm, does I'm, sound like it struck a nerve in her personally yeah for sure I feel like a lot of things strike nerves with Nikki yeah but that's pretty true. I I, I got. I'm gonna be as nice about she this question it. as possible, because <laughs> mm-hmm. I know y'all love Nikki. Is she a crackhead. She be doing drugs. She used to, just like every other rapper. I feel like she she on something, because I feel like every every like couple months she spazzes out about something she shouldn't be spazzing out about. Honestly, I don't think so. I thought what you read sounded like drugs. But I just didn't want to say it because I just want to respect Nikki. It did sound a little druggy. A little bit. A little druggy? But sometimes, because sometimes I, I'll think, oh, she's just a little crazy, which is like, I can get down with a little crazy, you know? Like, that's fine. But sometimes you can't tell if someone's just a little crazy or if someone's on drugs. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. She come off as unhinged. She I'm is. Not, she lie. definitely she is. is. She is unhinged for sure. But uh, I don't know if it's because she's just so. Because she's crazy or because she's on drugs? I think because she's on tour, so she's just feeling this this high right now. But I don't think it's drugs. Yeah, if I had to choose between drugs or crazy, I'd say she's just crazy. I'd say she's just crazy. Yeah. I think Nikki is a savage like me, and I think how y'all say, but listen, how y'all say, like, I just be in my corner, but it, when you talk to me, I got a lot to say. That's how I'd be feeling. Because if I, I say what I'm, what's on my mind, I'm telling you. Like, it would be crazy. Y'all would be sitting here looking at me side eye, like. No, I wouldn't. I would be happy to hear it. You would be like, oh my God, like the way your mind thinks is so crazy. Like the way your mind works. Shout out to all the Sagittarius out there. Okay, clap for This might be the first time I had another Sag on here. Usually it's just me boxing with ah, myself. Ah, you're Sag? I yeah, pointed at you both. Why, she, she stay forgetting. <laughs> it's like every year, it's like. Oh my god! Like, that's, that's why you got a podcast so you could talk your shit safely. Relax. Safely, safely. Let Nikki do her safely. thing on on X, whatever. 